Today I'm going to fill our tech lighter, our largest tank lighter on the market. I'm going to use Zycar's premium butane because it's among the cleanest butane available in the world today. Clean butane matters just like gasoline matters to your car. The higher the octane, the better the burn. The lower the octane, all the way down to diesel, can even ruin your lighter's engine. So, to fill your lighter, turn it upside down and turn your butane can upside down. The reason for that is that drops the liquid butane to the bottom of the can, forcing it into the lighter first. There's no need to shake it. Compressed air pushes the butane down in. All you have to do is press down hard, and I usually count to two, and I'll do that one, maybe I want to show you this, two, and even three times in order to get as much gas into that lighter as I can. One of the mo most important parts of taking care of your butane lighter is to bleed it regularly. Now, this lighter has just been partially filled, so it may not need to be bled, but since it's clear and also partially filled, it's a good opportunity to show you how bleeding your lighter works. If I take our multi-tool with a, with a torch valve bleeder on it and press down on the valve, you'll see bubbles come out, and you can hear the compressed air escaping. I'll try it again. See those bubbles coming out? And the gas level is dropping. That's because the gas is escaping, the compressed air is escaping out of there. Now you remember approximately where that gas was. So we're bleeding the pressure out of the lighter, and if your lighter is empty, believe me, it's not empty of compressed air, it's full of compressed air. And the more compressed air you have in that lighter, the less gas you can put in. Now you recall where the lighter level was. Watch. See how much more gas we get in there? And we were able to do that because we evacuated the room that the compressed air was taking in the lighter tank. I recommend bleeding your butane lighter at least once a month, if not also every time you fill it with butane. Once you have filled your lighter, hold it in your hand for a minute or two to warm that butane gas up so that it, becomes, so that it can easily become a gas rather than a liquid and allow the pressure to settle. Then, within a minute or two, you should be able to light your lighter just fine. If you liked this tip, there's plenty more where that came from. Go to CigarAdvisor.com and click or tap on the Articles tab at the bottom of the page. Expand the Show Topics sidebar. Then click or tap Cigars 101 to read tips, tricks, and advice from all the contributors to Cigar Advisor magazine.